Hi everyone, today I'm going to introduce you to muscular strength. What is muscular strength? Muscular strength is the ability of a muscle to exert a maximal, maximal or near maximal force against an object. So this would be something like picking up, uh, let's say, like a car. That's something you'd want to exert a maximal force against if you needed to pick up a car to help get it off somebody. Uh, there is a major principle in muscular strength training. It is the said principle, which means specific adaptation to impose demands. This means that if you specifically just train the bench press or just train the squat, you are just going to get stronger at that bench press or squat. <clears throat> and then another part of muscular strength is the metabolic changes. So there are a couple different changes that happen. You actually will start to develop larger muscles. You can even get thicker bones. You also um, will have an increased growth factor expression, and then you will also have an increased buffer capacity within the muscles. So how do you build muscular strength? Well, first you have to determine your exercise selection. This would mean what type of equipment is available. Do you have cans that you can pick up? Do you have a laundry detergent box versus um, a bottle? Do you have milk jugs in your fridge? Uh, do you have rice bags and flour? Things along those lines that you can pick up every single day. And then what kind of muscle are we trying to target? Are we trying to uh, target your quadriceps, which would be the front part of your legs? Or are we trying to target your hamstrings, which is the back part of your legs? Or are we trying to target um, your chest or your back? Those are the type of questions that we would have to ask ourselves regarding exercise selection. Next, we want to determine the rep ranges. So rep ranges can build strength on a couple different levels. If you stick to more of a two to five rep range, you'll get more of strength and power. So this is going to be like what I was talking about earlier, where you would have to pick up a car. It's going to be the very low rep ranges, something you would only do one time that's very, very heavy and strained. Next, you have the six to 12 rep range. This is something that I've seen a lot in bodybuilders, where you get a good mix between strength and hypertrophy, which is the actual building of muscles. And then on top of that, you also have 13 to 20 plus rep range. This is where you'll see um, an increase in strength endurance. So a lot of uh, firefighters, police officers, and military personnel will use this because it allows them to do strength-based movements such as picking up somebody from the ground, but to be able to do it multiple times. Next, we want to look at your rest times. So for strength movements that are very straining, such as a one rep max squat, that is going to take about two to five minutes of rest time in between each set versus strength endurance, where you could actually rest only about 30 to 60 seconds in between each set. Next, how do you design a strength, strength program? Well, first we have to figure out how many sets we want per exercise. Generally, you can stick around between two to six sets per exercise. Any less, it's not very beneficial and anymore you're just tiring yourself out more than anything so you want to kind of stick between two to six with most people sticking between about three to four sets total per exercise per exercise next we want to look at how much time you actually have for the workout generally you can have a workout between 30 and 45 minutes but some people are able to have an hour um, a day to be able to work out it's whatever works best for you. If you only have 30 minutes two times a week, then that's 30 minutes two times a week that you're able to dedicate to working out versus no time at all or having to dedicate a complete hour, which would, wouldn't fit your time schedule. Then we also have the frequency. Um, generally, about two to three times per week for full body workouts are looked at as the best. But again, if you only have one time per week that you can dedicate to working out, then at least getting out there and working out is beneficial to you. So here's an example program. Um, we have feet elevated push-ups. So this would mean putting your feet on the edge of a couch where you can elevate your feet higher and higher the closer you get to the couch. Uh, you would do this for say about three sets for five reps and then you would rest between about two to three minutes. So this is our uh, more of our straining strength type of exercise. Next, we have milk carton lunges. So that here you'd hold milk cartons right about chest level, and then you would do lunges. Um, so you're doing about four to six, or you're doing about four sets, about eight to twelve reps per leg. Um, and here you'd probably rest about sixty seconds. Next, we have food can curls. So this is where you just grab a can, and then you would just curl it to your shoulder, um, working your biceps. So you do this for about three sets, ten to twelve reps. 
uh, to really strain your bicep and then get rest about 60 seconds. And then next you have detergent box rows. So this would be like laundry detergent um, in a big box, usually the really heavy ones. And then so you can do those for about three sets, eight to 12 reps per arm. Um, and then you can rest about 90 seconds. So then how do you continue a strength program? Week to week changes, you'll either want to increase the weight, um, i.e. getting a heavier can, um, getting more bags of flour, whatever you, if you, if you can, increase the weight, try to increase the weight. If not, you can always just increase the reps. So you can add a rep to each set. If you have like say three sets of eight, then the next week you can do three sets of nine. And then the next week you can do three sets of 10. Um, you can increase the reps. And then if you need to, you can always increase the sets as well. So you can go from three sets to four sets, but make sure you're also watching how many reps you're doing as well. Now, if you keep on improving, but you can't improve any longer, what do you do next? Well, this is where you're going to want to change the exercise. So instead of doing air squats, you might want to do um, distance jumps where you jump as far as you can. And then instead of pull-ups, you can do, um, or instead of rows, you can do pull-ups uh, if you are able to, like on top of, on a tree or um, something along those lines. That's kind of what you're wanting to uh, change as far as the exercise go, where you're still working similar muscle groups, but you're attacking the joint at a different angle. Now, if you can't change the exercise, then you can change the tempo. What I mean by this is that you can start going down on the exercise, like a push-up going down towards the floor. You can count five seconds down and then push back up. This puts more stress on the muscle by slowing down the movement, and it also helps work on your form. And if you don't want to start too much by doing the five count down then you can always just do a pause at the bottom of like a lunge or a push-up and that will create a lot of stress as well